and welcome to all my water signs watching Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning in to your What Do They Love Most About You tarot reading. I'll be using the Shadowscapes tarot to see what we can reveal about what this person loves most about you, your qualities, your personality, your energy. Um, I will sort of crown the reading, I suppose, or just give an overall inside energy with an affirmation card, and then we'll move on to the um, tarot deck here. So um, please don't forget to reach out if you are after a private reading with me, um, and also to like, share, subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Otherwise, this absolutely can be for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay, let's have a look. What is the affirmation, their thoughts around you and around your connection together? Okay, the consciousness of loving and being loved brings a warmth and richness to life that nothing else can bring. Okay, so they feel you are very, very warm. Okay, very loving. We see this beautiful couple in a lover's embrace. Um, they feel safe around you. They feel very loved um, at your peak water signs. You know, you just make them feel completely accepted. Um, and they're so aware of this. You know, consciousness is about being aware, which makes me feel like you make them alert. Okay, you make them responsive to love. Um, you bring out this energy in them where they are conscious. Um, meaning they feel alive when they're with you. They feel activated when they're with you. Um, but it's reciprocated. This is a mutual energy of loved and being loved. They love being with you, okay? They and really are into being in a relationship with you. They find it fun. They find it loving. Um, but most of all, you give them a richness to their life. It's almost like their life was good, but since they met you or since they've been with you or since they've had a relationship with you, um, it's like nothing else. It's a relationship or a connection they've never experienced before. Um, and it, it makes me think that this person is still holding on in a way or they want to hold on or maybe they miss holding you, for example. But the richness, you know, the love that you have given them at your peak water signs has been amazing. Um, let's see what else the cards can reveal. Okay, they, this person may feel like you are their twin flame or soulmate. They've got the lover's card. Um, we've also got the devil energy. So this is borderline someone who could even be obsessed, um, obsessed with your connection or very, very protective. Okay, so, so far the signs that have come up are Gemini with the lover's card and the devil represents a Capricorn. We also have the king of pentacles, which is a Taurian energy. So if you're dealing with some of these signs that have come up in the reading. Um, now I do want to mention they don't only represent signs. You know, the lover's is that soulmate twin flame energy. It's a relationship that's bound to be a forever commitment. So like I said, this person is thinking about a forever commitment with you or has thought about this. Um, they love the way they can talk to you or they love it when you're in an energy where you're open to hearing them out. Communication is what rules the lovers and um, they love the way you speak to them maybe. Okay, maybe it's the pet name you call them. Maybe it's the way you call them before bed or, you know, you, you uh, the way in which you chat over dinner when you're cooking together. Um, it's that banter that you have and it really connects them. It's something that they love most about you. Now, the devil energy can be a little bit naughty sometimes. So I don't know if this is like something a little bit cheeky or mischievous that this person loves about you. Um... It could be a bit of a like an edge that you may have to you um, or something that's a little bit, I guess, mm, questionable, but they seem to dig it, um, water signs. They seem to really, really dig uh, what you've got going on here. So, I mean, I don't know if this is some of you are in a rock band or, um, you know, you've got this edginess to you or there's something that's like the bad boy look or the, the girl that they can't get to. You know, it's this excitement that they seem to admire most. Um, but also your ability with the King of Pentacles. I don't know if this is career. Um, they love how focused you are on career or money-making purposes. It's also um, because the King of Pentacles rules over money and love. It could be romance. 
King of Pentacles is a very romantic energy. So what they love most is the fact that you may cook them a meal, for example. You may light some candles. Um, you may be, be very romantic towards them, give them a nice massage. Um, you know, being romantic and thoughtful in other ways. It's something that they truly love about you. Um, that you that they can be so desired and they can feel so desired you know you have this wonderful power of making them feel loved um, and that's what they're trying to hold on to page of swords with the nine of swords sometimes this person is anxious of losing you or they're anxious that these maybe some tendencies of yours um, that are naughty they feel like they're going to lose you to that um, maybe this is like a cheating ex or maybe this is like a um an addiction you have or maybe this is going on social media it can be like a threatening energy and for a lot of you this person at least in a mental aspect because swords are all over the mind it can indicate that they're fearful okay sometimes their thoughts spiral out of control um now sometimes uh, it can indicate here that if they do have these thoughts that uh, spiral out of your control it's your ability to put them at ease at times you know um, changing your relationship status putting a picture up together um, on your whatsapp for example making things exclusive checking in on them when you're out and about with friends um, it's your ability to do these things um, and you've showed them these wonderful signs of growth seven of pentacles is growth so you've grown a lot with this person and they've had something to do with that they've had um, you know, they've had something to do with that. And at one stage, it really did bring you closer. And this is what they love most. Um, the judgment card is here. So maybe what they love most is your ability to make a judgment call when situations get tough. Okay, making the right decision, um, knowing when someone is hitting on you. Uh, for example, um, you know, knowing when to say sorry, knowing when to stop arguing it's the ability of having judgment that's what they're searching for and i feel there is someone out there here who is very much in awe of your ability to use your better judgment in certain situations very attracted though okay there's a magneticism with the devil i do want to say it's like lust or obsession or you know, they can't stop thinking about you in this way you just have this power over them and you know, sometimes their thoughts, they get carried away with thoughts or even fantasies about you. Um, so it's it's very powerful. Um, but it could be like they love that you're very traditional or you're family oriented or you want to lay down roots somewhere. You want to get more established. Um, this is something that they are really, really love about you, uh, water signs. I will leave your reading at that though, so thank you again for tuning in, it really does mean a lot. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon, so take care and bye for now.